Hello guys, in this lecture I'm gonna talk about elementary matrices and row equivalent matrices. By applying one of the following elementary operations to the identity matrix IN, we obtained the new matrices called elementary matrices. And we use these notations for elementary matrices. For example, for the first one, we change the ith row of IN to the lambda times i row, and in this case, we get this elementary matrix. Let's look at the example. n is 3, and this means that identity matrix is 3 times 3 matrix. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and 1. And these are elementary matrices. Let's look at the first one. To get this elementary matrix, we take identity matrix I3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then we change the second row of this matrix to the 5 times second row. Then our matrix will be this 1, 0, 0. 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 1. And you see, this is this one. The applied elementary operations are reversible. This means that by applying elementary operations to the elementary matrices, we can get identity matrix. Therefore, the elementary matrices are invertible. Calculating elementary matrix obtained by one of the elementary operations times A is equivalent to applying one of the elementary operations to A. That's it. For example, suppose that we have the matrix of 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 4, 0, 2, 7. Let's calculate elementary matrix this times a you know this elementary matrix will be 1 0 0 0 4 0 0 0 1 times a a is this 1 2 3 5 1 4 0 to 7 and it will be we take first row and first column and find that product and that product will be first element it will be 1 first row second column will be 2 first row third column will be 3 then second row first column will be 20, second row, second column, will be 4, second row, third column, will be 16, and then third row, first column, will be 0, third row, second column, will be 2, third row, third column, will be 7 this as you see to get this matrix we can apply this elementary operation to the matrix of a that's it because of this instead of this operation we can use this one that's all Let's look at this definition. We say that two matrices A and B are row equivalent if one can be changed to the another one by the sequence of elementary operations. And then we use this notation for the row equivalent matrices. Example, suppose that we have two matrices A and B. Are these matrices equivalent or not? We take matrix of A. 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 1. And then we change the second line 
by the second line minus first line. The result will be 1, 2, 3, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 1. Then, instead of third line, we write third line plus second line. And the result will be 1, 2, 3, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0. And then, instead of first line, we write first line plus two times second line. And instead of second line, we write minus second line. And the result will be one, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, 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 which is the matrix of B. From here, A will be row equivalent to B. Okay, that's all. See you guys next lesson.